If you make a plan to come to beautiful Plymouth, Massachusetts and visit the harbor, you will of course see the two big stars, the Plymouth Rock, and of course, the Mayflower too. But on this particular summer weekend, visitors got a bonus treat. The Baltimore Two sailed in, docking up to the town wharf and making the skyline of America's hometown look like it might have a few hundred years ago. Pride Two, as she is called, needed some rest as she has sailed nearly 200,000 miles since being commissioned 30 years ago. With over 200 ports and 40 countries visited, the Pride Two clearly felt this stop was one of her favorites. So I'm with Sophia, and uh, we're on this incredible boat. Is this is this your boat? Is this your summertime boat? Well, this is my full-time boat, actually. Uh, all the crew here signs up to live and work here for six months. So, yeah, that's what we're doing, and I'm on month three about. Wow, so tell me about that experience. I didn't even think I'd be asking about that, but what's it like to be on a boat like this? And pros and cons, I put it that way. Definitely. Uh, no, no cons. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, no, I absolutely love it. I think the, the best part is the community. Uh, for sure. I love the people I work with. Uh, they're fantastic. Uh, really helped me out on cause my, my first boat, so it's a, a great experience to be able to work with everyone. Uh, definitely space is a little limited, as you might imagine, um, and hours are pretty long, but we love what we do, so it makes it easy. Well, tell me about the boat. This is a beautiful uh, vessel, obviously not the only famous one on the water right now. We've got the Mayflower 2 over there, so it needed a little competition to remind everyone that there are other famous boats out there. But tell me about this boat we're on and a little bit of the history, and uh, love to hear it. Definitely. So this is a recreation of an 1812 privateer vessel named Chasseur uh, that actually single-handedly held up the uh, British Armada at some point, or blockaded them, I should say. Uh, so we're pretty proud of that fact. It was nicknamed the Pride of Baltimore, so that is given its uh, current name, the Pride of Baltimore II. And we really just try to recreate everything on deck kind of as realistically as possible. Below decks is a little more modern for our convenience, but uh, yeah, if you look around, it's you see even our flag right there. Uh, everything is uh, in 1812 fashion. So you've been on it for three months, which means that you're going all over the place. What has your summer been like? So it's been absolutely fantastic. I started off in Annapolis, uh, which was great, a uh, great sailing community there. And then we went to Bermuda, actually which was pretty fun uh, and it just it was a, a complete dream going there and coming back. We've also been to Greenport up in Long Island um, as well as P-Town and obviously now Plymouth and a few others along the way. Yeah. And are you trained in sailing or are you more of the crew type or, or how does that work? Yeah, so I've, I mean, always been somewhat interested in sailing, grew up on the, the West Coast, uh, but there's you know, not as big of a sailing culture there, um, so I didn't really have big access to it, but I'm very interested in engineering. Uh, it's been a, a long-term passion of mine, so I went to school for mechanical engineering, came out, decided to go sailing with that. So this is my first boat, but everyone else here, you know, different backgrounds, most of them sailing, which is good to, good to learn from. Well, we've got uh, the expert on board here. Sophia, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your stay in Plymouth, and are you able to get off the boat to go, uh, you know, grab some food and you know stay in a, a boat that doesn't rock or are you sleeping on this every single night? Uh, pretty much sleeping here every single night. I mean this is our home uh, but Mayflower has been very kind to us so they let us come on board and kind of showed us around so big thanks to them. Well thank you so much. Awesome. Good to see you guys here in Plymouth. Well, if you missed the visit to Plymouth, Massachusetts, don't worry. You can check out the Pride of Baltimore in one of their many next stops. Next stop is actually Baltimore. And you can visit them on all the regular social media pages or visit their website, pride2.org, where, in fact, you can make donations, find out the history of the boat, and actually become part of the crew if you make the right kind of donation. Thanks for watching Plymouth Rock TV.